Hi everyone. Today I want to talk about cryptocurrency. This is an RBI 24 session, a recorded session uh, after a very long time. Otherwise, if you want to watch all the previous RBI 247 lessons, you can go to the live section of my YouTube channel and you will be able to watch all the sessions. You can also go to my playlist of RBI 247 and there you will find all the sessions which are conducted by me twice every week, Tuesday and Thursday. For the next three weeks, two to three weeks, I will be conducting RBI 247 classes in a recorded format. You all are aware about the condition of pollution in Delhi and therefore we decided to not work in Delhi for some time because the entire team was getting sick uh, because of the high pollution levels. We decided to instead lighten up our brains and work off-site not in Delhi. Therefore, I am recording this session for you guys, but it is not going to affect the quality of the teaching as well as the impact that can, it can have on your preparation. It's Diwali time, therefore a lot of students have this urge to start enjoying and not to or to stop their preparation, but I have requested all the students, please do not stop your preparation altogether. Spend about two to three hours every day even if you want to enjoy and have a good Diwali with your uh, family members. Just uh, make sure that you are spending about 2-3 to three hours every day on uh, your studies and after that you can very well enjoy your time, have fun, take a good break and then intensify your preparation after Diwali time. Okay. Today let us start with a discussion on cryptocurrency. I will be talking about the challenges and the problems inherent with cryptocurrency. The need for regulating, why do we need to regulate and why should we regulate cryptocurrency and then what are the expected advantages that we can have if we decide to regulate cryptocurrency. This discussion comes into limelight because of recent discussions which have been held by Dr. Shaktikan Das, who is the governor of RBI, with various domestic as well as international economic institutions. And in all these discussions, he has been very upright about the need to ban cryptocurrency in India and Indian RBI's take on cryptocurrency has been made very clear. And that is where the discussion of whether to ban cryptocurrency or whether to regulate cryptocurrency arises. We will not compare these two because it is very very difficult to figure out which one is the right way to go and even RBI recently has not come out with any detailed comparison of these two. Therefore, I don't want to do it on my own before we, we have something credible from RBI itself. But I wish to talk about this today why there is a need to regulate, what are the advantages expected out of regulation. So watch this entire session if you want to have a more clear idea about cryptocurrency and once you have that automatically your ability to discuss the uh, issue of cryptocurrency at length with e either your friends or online or with your parents or anyone will be much more refined. Okay. Let's start. First of all, what are the problems inherent with cryptocurrency? Number one, it is not an asset and it is not a financial product. What do we mean when we say that it is not an asset? For example, you have a car. It is an asset. For example, you have a share certificate. It is a financial asset. Why do we say that it is, it is a financial asset? Because its value is dependent upon the value of any business that is running behind it. The business that is actually running behind it values the share certificate that you have purchased. For example, SBI is the business running behind it and the share of SBI will derive its value from how SBI is performing in the market, right? How are its operations? How are its revenues? How are its expenses? what are its NPAs, all of that will determine the value of the share. This is called as fundamental analysis just for your information. But cryptocurrency has nothing of that sort. Therefore, it is not an asset because its value is not derived from anywhere 
any 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 tangible or intangible financial or real asset whereas its value is determined purely based on supply and demand of the cryptocurrency itself so the push and pull between demand and supply of the currency itself determines the value of the asset it is in itself is not an asset or a financial product what is the implication of this when we say that it derives its value purely based upon demand and supply that means we can say that it is either based upon speculation or we can say that it is purely based upon gambling you remember some years back when uh, covid-19 was in its full form uh, elon musk came out with some kind of twitter poll or twitter uh, you know uh, uh, message about doge coin or some other coin i'm not very sure and then the value of that coin skyrocketed and then he sold billions of those coins immediately what was he doing he was gambling he was playing with people's money he was playing with their minds because he understands that the value of these currencies is purely determined on the basis of demand and supply nothing else at all okay that is one major problem behind cryptocurrency tomorrow if rbi panel asks you what is a cryptocurrency and what are the problems associated with it this is the first major financial problem with it cryptocurrency lacks underlying assets making its valuation unreliable and dependent on speculative concepts jo maine abhi aapko bataya and the outcome is gambling due to make believe concept behind cryptocurrency pricing it can be considered a form of gambling because it is purely based upon how many people want cryptocurrency want this currency and how many people don't want it so want to sell it off whatever they hold the balance between these two will determine or determines the price or the value of cryptocurrency okay what are the other problems with cryptocurrency potential loss of control over money supply so money supply the control or regulation over money supply is managed by rbi and why is this relevant aap bologe control karne ki zarurat hi kya hai because if money supply is too high or too much it brings inflation in an economy because too much money is running behind too few goods to put it shortly to put it briefly whereas is if money supply is too low then the value of money value of currency will rise too much inflation will fall but at the same time your exports will also fall because they will not be competitive anymore your imports will uh, uh, will increase because your currency is valued very highly therefore your imports are going to be cheaper so your imports will increase because they're cheaper now and they're going to disbalance the entire economic system by doing all these things so money supply being too small or being too much both of them are problematic for an economy and rbi tries to create the right balance of money supply in an economy every day every hour they're looking at the money supply in the economy and they're trying to balance it out make sure that it stays uh, balanced that it stays the way or to the level that it should be but cryptocurrency does not have this feature there is no control of money supply in cryptocurrency which means if cryptocurrency becomes widely adopted transactions will occur outside of central bank's control undermining monetary policy instead of using rupees to settle transactions we might start using crypto to settle transactions and when we start doing that what will happen rbi's control over rupees or rbi's control over money supply in an economy will go down because you are carrying out transactions in a currency a so called currency that does not have any control of rbi rbi does not control any part of it therefore you might uh, the people might start increasing the supply of that crypto eventually resulting in let's say a lot of inflation in the economy okay because the money supply of crypto is too much in the economy and rbi cannot control it 
economic stability this has a direct impact on the stability of the economic system because loss of control over money supply can lead to economic stability and hinder the ability to maintain desired liquidity levels in short what we are saying the second problem is money supply because of crypto rbi or central bank might lose control over money supply which will directly affect stability of an economy okay so these are the two main problems now what is the need for regulation why do we need to regulate it number one from the point of view of investor because cryptocurrency is highly speculative in its form and results in gambling like activity therefore it becomes very important that the investors are protected because a lot of these investors or we can say retail users people like you and me and not institutions are not aware about the actual risks behind such uh, currencies like cryptocurrency therefore we end up buying a lot of it with the idea that its price will increase and then we'll sell it off and then we lose all our money a lot of people face this during the covid crisis because they purchased a lot of crypto regulation on the other hand will empower the rbi or the central bank to start controlling the amount of crypto and the value of crypto in a, in an economy automatically protecting the investors okay it will prevent fraud and scams associated with unregulated crypto recently there was a scam in himachal pradesh where a group of people created a fake crypto unhone kuch uska naam rakha tha i don't remember the name and they started selling it there was no, because it's not a currency because there is no value behind it there is no asset which is controlling it there is no asset which is backing that currency they just created on an asset a currency online and they started selling it people started buying it because they thought its value will improve increase because they're gambling and eventually because it has no asset behind it its value became zero and all those people lost their money okay and these people who created this crypto this uh, currency won a lot of money collected a lot of money but then they were caught so this is the kind of fraud that can happen because of unregulated cryptocurrencies number 2 safeguarding financial stability one is from the perspective of an individual protecting him and the second is protecting the entire economy okay it is also the responsibility of the government of the state to ensure that the economy remains stable so regulation will help maintain financial stability by mitigating risks associated with unregulated cryptocurrency jo bhi unregulated cryptocurrency ki wajah se risks hote hain those can be controlled when uh, there are regulatory controls of rbi over cryptocurrency that will automatically ensure financial stability jo maine abhi aapko money supply wala concept bataya that directly has an impact on financial stability of a nation third is ensuring consumer rights protect consumers from unfair practices and ensure transparency in cryptocurrency transactions to bahut sari unfair practices jaise yahan pe maine aapko bataya investor yahan par bhi consumer ke jo rights hain for example today i buy crypto मैं एक खरीदता हूं लेट से फॉर रुपीज हंड्रेड ओके टुमोरो और बाय टुडे आफ्टरनून इट्स वैल्यू इज रुपीज टू हंड्रेड आई बी वेरी हैप्पी बिकॉज द वैल्यू इज डबल्ड इन जस्ट हाफ अ डे बट बाय टुडे इवनिंग द वैल्यू बिकम्स रुपीज थर्टी सो माय राइट एज होल्डर ऑफ अ करेंसी इज वायलेटेड बिकॉज द इकोनॉमिक सिस्टम इज नॉट एबल टू मैनेज और कंट्रोल द वैल्यू ऑफ दिस करेंसी ओके so this automatically will result in unfair practices where some people will win a lot of money will make a lot of money some people will end up losing a lot of money not because of any fault of theirs but just because the currency that they are buying or dealing with is too volatile it's not stable enough and the responsibility of this lies on the state lies on the government lies on rbi so this is why there is a need to regulate cryptocurrency अब रेगुलेट करेंगे तो फायदा क्या होगा हाउ विल इट हेल्प एन इकोनॉमी इफ यू रेगुलेट क्रिप्टो करेंसी स्पेशली विद रेस्पेक्ट टू इंडिया नंबर वन इज एंटी मनी लॉन्ड्रिंग कंसर्न मनी लॉन्ड्रिंग का मतलब क्या होता है कन्वर्टिंग एनी मनी व्हिच इज अर्न थ्रू इलीगल मींस एंड देन ट्राइंग टू कन्वर्ट इट इन लीगल और वाइट और एक्सेप्टेबल मनी 
इज कॉल्ड एज मनी लॉन्ड्रिंग मैंने गलत काम करके कुछ पैसा कमाया उसको मैं वाइट मनी में कन्वर्ट करने की कोशिश कर रहा हूं दैट इज कॉल्ड एज मनी लॉन्ड्रिंग लॉन्डरिंग मनी ओके एंटी मनी लॉन्डरिंग कंसर्न जो है उसको हेल्प करेगा ये रिजोल्व करने में क्रिप्टो करेंसी इज हैपीन एसोसिएटेड विद मनी लॉन्ड्रिंग एंड इलीगल ट्रांजेक्शन रिक्वायरिंग रेगुलेटरी इंटरवेंशन मैंने कोई पैसा कमाया लेट से आर्म्स सेल करके आपने वो मूवी देखी होगी ना सीरीज द नाइट मैनेजर इज एन आर्म्स डीलर लेट से रुपीज वन थाउजेंड करोर आई अर्न बाई सेलिंग सम काइंड ऑफ आर्म्स इन दी ब्लैक मार्केट एंड नाउ आई वॉन्ट टू कन्वर्ट ऑल दिस मनी इन टू वाइट मनी सो दैट आई कैन एंजॉय इट आई कैन यूज दिस मनी तो मैं इसकी ट्रिपिंग करना शुरू करूंगा आई स्टार्ट रोटेटिंग दिस मनी मैं किसी लेट से आई क्रिएटेड टेन शेल कंपनी एंड नाउ आई स्टार्ट पुटिंग इन दिस मनी इन दी शेल कंपनी एज द रेवेन्यू ऑफ दीज कंपनी मैं धीरे धीरे रेवेन्यू की तरह डालना शुरू कर दूंगा दो दो करोड़ तीन तीन करोड़ पांच पांच करोड़ करके मैंने डालना शुरू कर दिया नाउ आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू डू इट बाई माई सेल्फ देर आर इनफैक्ट इंस्टीट्यूशन एंड फाइनेंशियल कंपनीज विच आर डूइंग दीज काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स सो दे विल हैव ऑल दीज शेल कंपनीज विच विल एब्जॉर्ब माई मनी they will take some commission and then they will they will give me some money uh, in the form of let's say my own revenue or i can become shareholder in these companies so i start getting dividend from these companies okay or these ten shell companies might transfer some money to another let's say 100 shell companies so that will be revenue of these 100 shell companies which is coming out of these ten ten shell companies and these 100 shell companies might then in return transfer money to me okay so the money is rotating money is going from one channel to another ultimately ultimately coming back to me and i might have let's say 800 crore left after all my expenses and this 800 crore is completely white money so this is called as money laundering activity the idea is that cryptocurrencies have been associated with money laundering transactions You convert this 1000 crore into crypto. आपने ब्लैक मार्केट में इसके क्रिप्टो खरीद लिए पूरे सारे पैसे के 1000 करोड़ के एंड नाउ इट्स इजियर फॉर यू बिकॉज दिस क्रिप्टो इज नॉट रेगुलेटेड और नॉट कंट्रोल्ड नॉट मैनेज बाई एनी सेंट्रल बैंक और एनी काइंड ऑफ स्टेट इंस्टीट्यूशन सो रोटेटिंग दिस क्रिप्टो इन द्लैक मार्केट इज इजियर एंड देन कन्वर्टिंग इट बैक इन टू रुपीज एंड देन यूजिंग दैट मनी इट्स ऑल्सो ईजियर so this is how anti money laundering activity can money laundering activity can be controlled if you have regulation on cryptocurrency i hope it's clear number 2 tracing transactions so number first humne dekha we said that you know because there is no regulation over crypto so you can convert this 1000 crore into crypto and then you can reconvert it into money in the future right now this is happening because there is no trace of transactions so when you start tracing the transactions happening in the crypto market automatically you can go back and trace ki ye 1000 crore kahan se nikal ke aa raha hai so tracing of cryptocurrency transactions will automatically help in anti money laundering and preventing asset misuse all these are anti money laundering uh, measures regulations that a misuse of crypto for illicit purposes protecting integrity of financial system लोग क्रिप्टो भी डायरेक्टली यूज करते हैं फॉर बाइंग इलीगल एक्ट इलीगल थिंग्स मैंने 1000 करोड़ के आर्म्स सेल किए आई सोल्ड आर्म्स आई कन्वर्टेड इट इनटू क्रिप्टो एंड देन आई स्टार्ट बाइंग लेट्स से आई स्टार्ट बाइंग अदर थिंग्स फॉर एग्जांपल आई स्टार्ट आई स्टार्ट बाइंग केमिकल्स दैट कैन बी यूज इन केमिकल वॉरफेयर प्लूटोनियम हो गया दिस काइंड ऑफ केमिकल्स दिस काइंड ऑफ न्यूक्लियर या फिर बायोलॉजिकल केमिकल वॉरफेयर में जो यूज होते हैं आई स्टार्ट बाइंग दोजिंग क्रिप्टो सो वट इज वट एम आई डूइंग देर आई एम यूजिंग माई क्रिप्टो फॉर बाइंग थिंग्स दैट आर इलीगल एंड देन आई कैन सेल देम ऑफ एंड देन आई कैन हैव इन रिटर्न इधर क्रिप्टो और रुपीज और एनी अदर करेंसी सो दिस इज आउ बिकॉज नो बडी इज हैविंग एनी कंट्रोल और रेगुलेशन ओवर वट आर यू बाइंग और सेलिंग यूजिंग क्रिप्टो when you start regulating that automatically you can control these kind of activities also i hope this is clear second how regulation helps is in controlling market manipulation market manipulation matlab demand and supply ko 
artificially increase or decrease karna is called as market manipulation the best example again i just i just gave you that example elon musk talked about uh, some currency on twitter i think doge coin tha the price of that currency increased immediately he waited for a while he waited for the price to increase and then he dumped all his doge coin once he realized ki isse upar to nahi jane wala hai and then the price tanked after that because he sold a major part of his holding so what did he do he manipulated the market okay this cannot be done once you have control or regulation over a cryptocurrency number 2 enhancing ma market integrity market manipulation mein ye bhi aa jayega when you are controlling market manipulation then you will be able to establish rules and regulations if elon musk had written something like this and regulation had already existed and there were rules and safeguards he would not have been able to get away with it wo usse bach nahi pata फिर जो रेगुलेटरी बॉडी है दे वुड हैव रिकवर्ड ऑल दैट मनी बिकॉज ही वुड हैव वायलेटेड सम ऑफ द अदर रूल एंड सेफ गार्ड ओके बाय ड्रेसिंग मार्केट मैनिपुलेशन रेगुलेशन प्रोमोट्स इन्वेस्टर कॉन्फिडेंस इन द क्रिप्टो मार्केट ऑटोमेटिकली द वैल्यू ऑफ क्रिप्टो विल बिकम मोर स्टेबल मो पीपल वुड लाइक टू इन्वेस्ट इन इट मो पीपल वुड लाइक टू होल्ड क्रिप्टो करेंसी बिकॉज दे नो दैट सम काइंड ऑफ रेगुलेटर इज टेकिंग केयर ऑफ मार्केट मैनिपुलेशन ओके नंबर थ्री साइबर सिक्योरिटी risks this is how regulation helps in reducing cyber security risks unregulated crypto platforms are vulnerable to cyber attacks mere paas 10 crypto hai one crypto is let's say 45 lakhs 10 crypto kitne ka ho gaya 4.5 crore mere computer pe attack hua aur mera sara 10 ke 10 crypto lose ho gaya i lost it somebody hacked into my computer cyber attack hua mere upar and then they took all away all the 10 crypto that i had because it's a financial uh, uh, you know currency kind of a thing it's not it's not uh, any tangible currency that you get in your hands so it is vulnerable to cyber attacks if it comes under regulation automatically there can be steps taken by rbi to control such cyber attacks let's say some app is created which is more stable which is more uh, secure and you can put your crypto in that जैसे कि यूपीआई होता है अटैच टू योर बैंक अकाउंट बट पीपल कांट गेट इन टू साइबर अटैकर्स हैकर्स कांट गेट इन टू यू पी आई एंड कैन नॉट टेक अवे ऑल योर मनी फ्रॉम योर बैंक अकाउंट दे कांट डू दैट बिकॉज इट इज प्रोटेक्टेड बाय एन पी सी आई थ्रू सर्टन लेयर्स द सेम कैन बी डन इन क्रिप्टो मार्केट एज वेल वंस दे हैव रेगुलेशन नंबर टू डेटा प्राइवेसी एनश्योर्स इंप्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ रॉबस्ट साइबर सिक्योरिटी सेफ गार्डिंग यूजर प्राइवेसी एंड डेटा प्रोटेक्शन और बहुत लाखों लोगों के पास क्रिप्टो है एंड ऑल ऑफ दिस क्रिप्टो इज रोटेटिंग इन दी ब्लैक मार्केट उनका डेटा भी तो कहीं ना कहीं एक्सपोज्ड है ना दिस डेटा कैन बी रेगुलेटेड कैन बी कंट्रोल्ड कैन बी मैनेज्ड कैन बी प्रोटेक्टेड इफ द एंटायर क्रिप्टो मार्केट इट सेल्फ इज रेगुलेटेड ओके प्रिवेंटिंग फंड लॉस बाई इंपोजिंग सिक्योरिटी स्टैंडर्ड्स रेगुलेशन मिनिमाइज द रिस्क ऑफ फंड लॉस एट्रीब्यूटेबल टू साइबर अटैक्स और सिस्टम ब्रीचेज जब भी साइबर अटैक होगा तो ऑफ कोर्स देर इज अ रिस्क ऑफ फंड लॉस आपके पास जितना भी पैसा था वो चला गया दैट रिस्क इज कंट्रोल्ड तो साइबर सिक्योरिटी में दो रिस्क होते हैं फर्स्ट इज रिस्क ऑफ लूजिंग मनी लूजिंग ऑल क्रिप्टो राइट एंड सेकेंड इज डेटा एंड वी कैन से थर्ड इज प्राइवेसी वट एवर इज ऑन योर कंप्यूटर दैट दे माइट टेक अवे दैट एज वेल एंड विद दैट दे माइट ब्लैक मेल यू दे माइट पुट इट ऑन द इंटरनेट दे माई डू वट एवर दे वॉन्ट विद दैट दे माइट सेल इट फर्दर तो आपकी प्राइवेसी भी वायलेट हो रही है दैट विल नॉट हैपन इफ दी एंटायर क्रिप्टो मार्केट इज रेगुलेटेड ओके नंबर फोर इंश्योरिंग टैक्स कंप्लाइंस इट्स वन ऑफ द मेजर रीजन दैट द गवर्नमेंट वॉन्ट्स टू रेगुलेट क्रिप्टो पीपल आर डीलिंग इन क्रिप्टो इन क्रॉर्स एंड बिकॉज इट इज ऑल अनरेगुलेटेड ब्लैक मार्केट सो दे नॉट पेइंग एनी टैक्सेस मैंने सौ करोड़ लगाए उसके हजार करोड़ हो गए 10 times ho gaye but i don't have to pay any taxes the only thing that i have to do is use it only i can use it only in the black market to buy things that are available in the black market or i have to somehow uh, round trip karna padega to be able to convert it into white currency white money right those are the only options that i have because there is no tax liability on it and even if i take it to the government the government will say it is unregulated there are no tax laws on it 
but now that we know that you have this money give it to us okay so nobody does that but if it is regulated automatically tax compliance hone lagega with that tax authorities will be able to have more revenue out of crypto which which in any ways is happening in the economy log ab kar bhi rahe hain so why not tax it and get some make some revenue out of it okay proper tax reporting and compliance ho sakta hai and uh, it will also prevent tax evasion so this is all about tax compliance okay i hope this is clear so this was all for this session i hope it was useful humne kya kya dekha ek baar dekh lete hain regulation helps mein char humne bataye tax compliance number 1 cyber security number 2 market manipulation number 3 money laundering number 4 okay need kya hai regulation ki aur usse pehle hum dekh humne dekha problems of crypto jisme do major problems thi loss of control over money supply and it is not an asset or a financial product at all so this was all for today's session i hope it was useful i hope it helped you uh, learn something new about cryptocurrency bahut sari cheeze hain crypto ke andar discuss karne ke liye and once sarve comes out with something more detailed we will try and have a comprehensive session on cryptocurrency and i'm very sure with that comprehensive session your understanding of crypto as well as my knowledge and understanding of crypto will become more and more complete we can stand in front of anybody and talk about crypto and uh, discuss the pros and cons the threats emanating from crypto and how it can be managed by rbi as well as the government if you like the session do not forget to uh you know hit on that like button so that i know how many students are actually understanding what i'm teaching and put your comments in the comment section below whatever you feel whether you understood it whether you have not understood it whatever you feel like you're completely anonymous i cannot do anything about it i'll see you very soon guys keep preparing for rbi take care bye bye happy diwali once again jai hind